Good morning guys, welcome back to another week in my life in California. It is currently Sunday and we are getting ready to head to Big Bear. Ashley got a collab at a cabin for Sunday night and Monday night and I'm super excited. It's about two and a half hours north of the Pasadena area, which is where I've been staying this month. And John and Ashley have both been several times. They told me I'm going to love it. It's supposed to be like a little snowy ski village and I'm just, I'm super excited. And so I'll be there for a couple of days just shooting content that I will be home for a couple of busy work days. And then we are actually going to San Diego this weekend. I got a hotel collab there. That's about two hours south of here and I'm super pumped. I love San Diego. It's beautiful. So many different content opportunities. So we're really just trying to get some pics, hang out and explore more of California. I can't believe I'm already halfway through my month here. So yeah, getting ready to pack up and head out. You would have no idea that we're only leaving for two nights because we have so much stuff in the back seat and a lot of it is like just sweaters, clothes, jackets to get all the content taken. Road trip! <laughs> made it to Big Bear and right off the bat I just love it here it is like the cutest quaint little village we just made it over to their like town center and it's just one block like you could probably walk in and out of all of the shops in like under an hour there's tons of restaurants a couple of breweries and bars it reminds me so much of where my grandparents live in Hayward Wisconsin like just like a cute little mountain town I love First stop in Big Bear is to a place called 572 and super cute out here. They've got like a little outdoor patio, lots of dogs. People are just like having a Sunday fun day. I got barbecue chicken sandwich with an onion ring. It looks so bomb. The fries are super good. John got Cali burger. Cali burger. And Ash got the 572 burger. It looks so good. Coda got a water. <laughs> Hey, 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 good? John and Ashley are drink people and they always get one after the meal, which I think is so funny because Jules is someone when I travel with her, she can't even begin her day until there's a coffee in hand, whereas they're like, let's get a sweet treat of a coffee after. Is it milk hot chocolate or water hot chocolate? I just found a gift shop to come get my postcards. They have a bunch of these little wooden ones too, which I love. But I think this year I'm actually going to start putting the postcards like in a little photo album and like leave it on the coffee table so that people can look through them. We've made it to our Airbnb. Look at how cute it is. Lake Carlinset. I know, I look cute. <laughs> we'll leave it linked down below. We're about to head inside, but it's super cute outside having a little cabin weekend. These seem to be the rage this January, February, March. Everyone is doing a fun little cabin weekend on Instagram these days. Look at it. the back of our trunk looks like utter chaos. <laughs>
We're bringing the luggage in and there's a coyote just walking in the middle of our street. Rather than this being a busy travel guide, this trip is more like us just exploring and kind of hanging out in this cute cabin. So the content focus is less in town based and we're going for a cozy cabin weekend getaway friend group vibes. So right now we're just taking a picture of us cozied up and Ashley's drinking her coffee. <laughs> We're having a comfy, casual evening. I just, I'm starting this new thing where I try to do like teasers for my YouTube videos on Instagram stories so that people can like know what's gonna be in the hour long vlog. So I just edited one for my Q&A that I posted last week and I edited one for the vlog. I finished up a partnership for American Greetings and I submitted that. And then I edited one other collaboration and submitted that while John and Ashley watch football. John, how disappointed are you that the 49ers are going to the Super Bowl? I'm more disappointed that the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. Really? Because yeah. he's anti Taylor Swift going to the Super Bowl. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ashley and John took us to a place called Saucy Mama's and we got a margarita pizza with meatball on top and cheesy garlic bread, which only has two slices, but it is so cute in here. And whoever is on Ox deserves a big fat smooch. I'd give the pizza a 9 out of 10. Taking off, I'm taking off a point because I wish that the crust was a little more seasoned. A lot of the crust was too plain for me, but the crust was crispy. It wasn't floppy, but it wasn't too crunchy. And I thought that the cheese to tomato ratio was great. I, I wouldn't add the meatballs again, but... Uh, gotta have meatballs. Gotta have meat on pizza. What do you give it? Ready? That's Think okay. about it. I'm gonna make you count. I'm gonna count down, and you're both gonna say what you'd rate it at the same time. Ready? You got the number in your head? Three, two, one. And you're gonna say something. Yeah. Hey, three. Okay. What would have made it a ten? I'm gonna say with the crust. With the crust, I get plain. I don't eat crust though. So maybe honestly, so then I it's a, a you problem. <laughs> We're doing a quick little grocery store run right now for breakfast tomorrow. We're getting stuff to make pancakes, eggs, bacon, no toast, because um, we're only here for two days. And then John and I needed a sweet treat, so we got drumsticks for tonight and some water. I just took a shower and changed into comfies. I just got this little matching sweatsuit in the mail the other day. It's got like a giant M embroidered patch on it. I'm not 100% sure what brand I got this from. There's no tag on it. It's the biggest size small sweatsuit I've ever seen, but it's nice and comfy and oversized, so that's good. Um, we're about to convince John to watch an episode of our TV show that we've been watching. Big Little Lies. We only have two episodes left. One and a half. One we and have a half. One, but John tapped out one and a half tonight. episodes left. John, why did you tap out yesterday? Tap now again. Look at how cool it looks when you look up. It's a sad day. This TV wouldn't let us log into our HBO account. So we're going to have to wait. Starting my morning doing a little bit of editing. I've got a Halara haul. All right, we're making breakfast in our cutie little cabin. We've got bacon, heart-shaped pancakes. We're snapping a couple of pics while we do this too. And we were gonna make eggs, but we're working on time crunch. Ash and I both have meetings at 10, so. Yeah, I wanted to show you our cute new PJs. Ashley got us these pajamas from Target uh, like a week and a half ago, and we're wearing them. Little matchy moment. Valentine's Day morning, making the heart-shaped pancakes and just having breakfast in our cute little cabin. Uh, what did you say the brand was? 
so it's stars soft. above. It's Target's pajama line that is so They're so soft. soft. They feel very similar to my Cozy Earth ones, and if you know, you know me, you know how much I love Cozy Earth. So we'll leave them linked down below in case you want to grab a pair for you and your Charleston is in South Carolina. Like, I honestly don't know that right off the bat. And so they were like, for that reason, I think it's smarter just to keep the cities like as they are. So I feel like city makes the most sense. All right, it is 11.45 right now. My meeting was about an hour and a half and Ashley had a Dippin' Daisies meeting for about an hour and a half while I was on the call. And now we are getting dressed. We're using like that big main bedroom um, as a changing room. Like everyone has their suitcase in here. And I'm getting dressed right now. Ashley and I are about to head out and have a little bit of a shoot afternoon, explore, take some pictures, see the lookouts, things like that. And this is the outfit I'm gonna start off in. This sweater is from Vici, jeans are from Vici, and my hat is Gigi Pip. It kind of looks like a snowman top hat, I love it. And then we're also gonna bring a second outfit to take pictures in. John has to work until 3 p.m. So we're gonna knock out some photos while he finishes up his work day. And then I think we'll all head out into the town and explore, grab dinner, like things like that. So fun. Guys, we are up on top of Ashley's roof and we are taking some pictures. Uh, we, get, we had a cute little inspo pic on Pinterest. So we're trying to get it. If we got a cute one, we'll leave it here. I Okay, we just drove over to another lookout spot and we are about to fly the drone. I actually didn't bring my drone with me to California because I knew Ashley had the same one and she actually doesn't know how to fly it. Make sure John, that card's in there. Okay, it is. John has like... been flying it for her. He is not with us right now because he's working, but I'm going to launch her in the air and get just a little bit of footage. I'm a little nervous. I've never flown it in the mountains, and obviously we have like a lot of different ranges of trees and stuff around us. I don't know if you can really see this, but there's definitely some like different, diff there's definitely some different depths that we're working with. Um, you have to launch it off of like solid ground. But if you see this, this is a pretty intense drop off. And then like there's higher mountains, there's lower ones, and it's really snowy over there. So we're gonna set her up and we're gonna see if we can see some stuff. We only have one battery. So a drone battery only lasts 30 minutes. So you can only get so much footage, but we're gonna give it a go. Okay, changed outfits into matching little earmuffs, sunglasses, and I'm borrowing this jacket from Ashley. That's from Blank NYC, which is a Revolve brand. And we are literally being influencers in the wild. This reminds me of the time that Jules and I brought a suitcase um, to a park in Denver and we shot content for like literally like three hours in the snow. There's like snow on this one side of the mountain. So we just came over here. We're literally like off the side of this main highway 30 and we're about to snap some snowy shots. Okay, we wrapped up our picture taking and we picked up John and we are just kind of hanging out in the town, popping in and out of a few stores. They're getting coffee right now. Originally we were gonna go sledding this afternoon, but John got done with work a little later than we expected, so we're hoping maybe tomorrow. They have so many cool patches here. I wish I had something to put a patch on. I know, I was trying to lift like, it's my money. It is so Hayward, Wisconsin in here. It's not even funny. Look at how cute this little postcard is. I got a couple yesterday, but I really like this one, so I'm getting it. It's a dollar. We have to sled tomorrow because Ashley and John are buying a sled. <laughs> and it's pink, of course. Let's just move on from it. Actually, yes, we're This one is small on me, but I like it. Okay, guys, can we get thumbnail? <laughs> We're walking to see the lake right now. Apparently, Big Bear Lake is like one of the biggest lakes in this area of California, and it's beautiful. The sun is starting to set right now. Just a sweet little town. I really like it here, you guys.
the lake is beautiful. It's gorgeous out tonight. It's a little chilly, but it's not freezing. John. This is cinematic. <laughs> cinematic, cinematic. We came to Teddy Bear Restaurant, which a follower recommended to Ashley. And our waiter is so nice, guys. He recommended that I get the steak sandwich that has like pepper jack cheese. I think it's avocado, onion, tomato, the whole nine yards. Ashley got chicken fried steak, which I've literally never heard of until today. Let's try it. And Johnny Boy? God. Thank you. Thank you. What did you get, John? Oh, the big. Thing. I got the. Uh, the bear sandwich or something. It's like, was it the big bear? The ox here is like basically the same as it was last night. And I heard him say, um, someone complimented me on my music. And so I'm gonna compliment him on his music before we leave because I know it'll make his day. I never updated everybody when we got home from dinner, but I would give it a six. But we met the nicest guy ever. Our waiter was so kind and he asked so many questions about our job and he got me on the idea, guys, of putting a tent on top of a truck and going camping. And I was like, that's such a good idea. I have to call Mike because he's the only person I know that has a truck. And then I just talked to him for two hours and he ran out of gas. <laughs> so everybody comment and say, Mike can mow grass, but he doesn't know how to fill up his car. So any words to your fans? He didn't actually run out of gas. Yes, he did. You sound all like burly and mannish. What kind of toothpaste should I use? You've been asking me this for four years, and I've been telling you the answer for four years. You just never answer. Look what I have. Aw, have you used them? No. Guys, I sent Mike this for his birthday in August, and he still hasn't used it. So now I know not to send him another present. <laughs> I used one of your presents. What? Passport. <laughs> My usual morning routine even in the cabin i just read for a little bit just finished editing and processed my halara try on haul sent that in for review and then i just wrote out this week's email i have to send copy in by tuesdays to be approved for sunday from my team so now i am uploading some story okay this crew's getting ready to roll out Today I'm wearing a sweater from Beachy. My jeans are also from Beachy, the ones that I wear literally every single day. And then Uggs and my hair is so dirty right now. Like it is non-negotiable that it be in a hat. So this hat's from American Eagle. We're about to go get some breakfast. I know you just watched us buy eggs, but Ashley wants to go venture off to a cute cafe. So that's what we're doing today. And then we're gonna take some pictures. We're gonna go sledding. And we're checking out of this place, headed back to good old Pasadena. All right, we ventured off to this spot called Grizzly Manor for breakfast. Ashley and John have been here before, and they have a huge menu. It's really cool in here too because but all the walls are like people writing, dollar bills, stickers, it's so cool. 14 years married, 24 years together total. John, Ashley, you have to put something on the wall. John goes, I'm feeling a little woozy, and he proceeds to order the 18 inch <laughs> yep. corned beef hash. I've never seen it like this. I haven't either. It's like chopped up. It looks good. I got the light eater, which is bacon, um, hash browns, cheddar cheese with eggs, and then the sourdough toast. It's just not here yet. I am stuffed. I love eating breakfast out, but I'm always someone that, like, I think I make pretty good breakfast at home, so it really takes a lot to wow me in that area, but good vibes. I liked the atmosphere there. We're headed back home, drop John off so he can start work, and then Ash and I are gonna head. Okay, shooting with Ashley is a little bit different than when I shoot with any of my other content creating friends because she actually doesn't use Lens Buddy, she uses Burst. Which is something that you, on my yep. <laughs> which is something that you can set up through the settings app on your phone, and then you get the burst option. And basically, this makes it—it it takes like 150 photos in literally 60 seconds, and it makes going through photos so much easier. And it changes the lighting a little bit. Lens Buddy like auto no, adjusts, lens, and yeah. this doesn't. Lens Buddy changes lighting and lowers quality, but this is just using your like actual iPhone camera as if you were to take a burst. And you can make it last as long as you want. Like if you want it to last for a thousand photos, you can. Oh. 
So anyways, we are back in the same spot that we were in yesterday. Unfortunately, the sun was just like going down a little too quickly. And we really wanted you to be able to see all of these beautiful trees like lit up. Um, with some of the snow so that's what we're doing right now this side of the mountain is like super snowy and over there it's like very deserty um because it is about like 55 degrees right now i can't believe how much snow is left yeah. for how much of it is sunlit it's actually kind of cool but anyways if we got a cute one i will insert it here if you're not following both of us on instagram go check it out you can get all the inspo for your next snow day we're getting the drone up in the air and getting a little bit of footage of big bear you what Ashley's learning, I'm, I'm teaching Ashley how to fly it right now. This is probably one of the worst places to teach someone how to fly a drone, but... <laughs> Car is packed. We are checking out of our Airbnb and headed to go sled with our good old trusty red sled we bought yesterday. Right, Coda? You're so excited. He's only seen snow a couple of times, so Ashley and John said he's really excited. Ashley's only ever sled once in her lifetime. <laughs> Guys, it is 4.45, we just walked in the door. We have like a little over two hour drive back from Big Bear, there was some traffic, but I came home to a couple of exciting packages I wanted to show you guys. First thing that I got are a couple of swimsuits from Kulani Kinis. I have loved and followed this brand for years on Instagram, but I've actually never been sent any of their things. So I'm really, really excited to try these bathing suits out. I tried to get one of each style bottom, like their thong, their cheeky, and then their string bottom as well. They have a bunch of different styles and I love this pink and orange one tiny but very cute in the last few days i have actually gotten some very exciting travel opportunities for the month of february so from here i am going home for a couple of days and then as you guys know i'm going to new orleans with my mom for a week and then i'm going down to florida for sam's birthday from florida i am going to puerto rico from puerto rico i am getting on a cruise for a week in the caribbean i'm super excited and then from the caribbean i will be flying to tampa where kylie will be picking me up and we will be going to 38 together for her spring break i have a hotel collab there and i am super super excited so basically i'm gearing up for like six weeks of constant travel hope you guys have really enjoyed the like sit down routinely vlogs because shit's about to get crazy um but anyways with lots of warm weather things on the horizon i've started to like really start picking out spring break and resort wear i'm actually really excited to be doing all of this type of travel at the end of february slash the beginning of march not only to beat the seasonal sadness but to kind of get ahead start on the spring break content. I know a lot of you guys are going somewhere for spring break. So it honestly is some of my best performing stuff of the entire year. So I'm really excited. I picked out this stuff from Hello Molly a, why, Coda? a couple of days ago and it already came. Their shipping is super, super fast. So I got that pink linen set. This dress I am most excited about. It's like pink, yellow, and orange flowers. Super cute. And then I got this white top. I figured this would just be cute with a pair of shorts and sandals. I don't really have a lot of tops. Like usually when I go on vacation, I only wear like dresses and sets and things like that. And I've been wanting to pick up more tops just so that I can keep things a little more casual. Cute little top. And then of course I got the matching skirt to go with. I just love this. It's got the little asymmetrical ruffle. So very fun. I will leave all that linked down below. I am in dire, dire need of a hair wash. So, gave myself a good purple shampoo wash, moisturized really heavily, and also gave myself a little layer of self tan on the face because I'm feeling extra winter pale right now. Zopa Toscana Tuscan soup, handmade by Ashley. Guys, it is 9 p.m. 
and it's been kind of in like an off-camera afternoon. Um, Ashley actually found out that her grandpa passed a few hours ago and John came down with like an unexpected fever slash sickness um, on our way home. So the whole crew is just kind of leaning on each other, taking some space, and we've just kind of been MIA off the grid today because um, life happens. We had such a great time in Big Bear though. I will leave our cabin linked down below, but I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. I just posted today's YouTube video. I post every Wednesday and Sunday, as you guys know. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is new day. Our spirits are a little brighter this morning. I'm about to do my makeup and get ready. Jules is actually staying in an Airbnb in Venice Beach, California for a month. She is looking for a lease to hopefully stay here and live here like full time. And Sam is visiting her this week. So Ashley and I are gonna go meet up with Sam and Jules and just grab coffee and hang out, catch up, maybe get a little bit of coffee shop work done, maybe shoot an outfit. Not entirely sure the vibes yet, but we'll see. Okay, doing my makeup and now I am doing my hair. I'm crimping it today. As you guys know, I have pretty naturally wavy hair. If I did the curly girl method, it would certainly give me some curls, um, especially underneath, but when I brush it out, it gets really puffy. So this is my hair crimped and this is it natural. So as you can see, um, it's not too, too different. So some days when I actually do have like a decent amount of definition, I like to go through and just crimp it instead. The only hot tool that I brought to California with me is a curling iron, but I just, my hair is like a little long for the size barrel that I have right now. Like not loving the way that I look with it curled and I don't have a straightener, but Ashley has a crimper. So that's what I'm doing today. Here is the finished product of my hair. It has so much volume when I crimp it. I really need to start doing it more because I feel like it really suits my face you shape. Hair <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm about to make myself some breakfast. I'm still deep into my yogurt obsession. So I've got Chobani, and then this is the best granola, you guys. This Nature Valley protein granola. I really like eating granola, but if I'm gonna eat that much sugar, I really like it to have some type of nutritional value to it. Um, and this one doesn't really taste like protein at all, but you obviously get 13 grams, which I feel like is crazy, um, for two thirds of a cup. So, not that I really pay that much attention to things like that, but in case you are. And I really like this granola because it's like big clusters. Like, that's the best kind of granola when it's like clumpy like that. Dress. Is there one pair of like ugly pants again? Then... Yummy, yummy. Well, my hair is crimped. I figured I would knock out a quick little reel and take some mirror photos in the Hello Molly stuff that came yesterday. I loved everything. This is the last outfit and I cannot wait to wear this. I feel like this is the perfect cruise outfit. It's like fancy, but not at the same time. Love. I've been like super on my TikTok grind. So if you guys are not following me on there, style by McKenz, it's always linked down below. Go follow. Okay, just knocked that out. Here's what I'm wearing today. We are off to get coffee. Jackets from Shein. Jeans are from American Eagle. Dolce Vita Zima sneakers. I've just got on a white long sleeve underneath. And then Abbott Lion and Boohoo Sunnies. I've been wanting to wear this jacket for weeks. It's kind of a little hot for it today, but I figured it's now or never. So one thing that I hate about California is that literally no matter where you're going, it takes 45 minutes to get there. The good news is that I have been playing Passenger Princess for the last month um, since I don't have my car here. And thankfully, since I obviously work in social media, a lot of my work can be done on my phone from wherever. We are off to Venice Beach. It'll take us like an hour to get there, an hour to get home. And while I am doing that, I am going through and categorizing imagery. This is the next step in my rebranding. There is going to be a landing page for every single state I've been to so you're gonna click on California and then once you open up California you'll be able to navigate San Luis Obispo San Diego San Francisco LA Beverly Hills like you'll really be able to see the breakdown but in or 
but those landing pages for each state and every country I've been to need imagery and copy. Copy is essentially Ciao Bella, um, I studied abroad in Italy. It's like the introduction paragraph and kind of like all of the text that's going to be on that page. My team at Good on Paper builds out the page, but I still have to come up with the words and the photos and like everything that goes on the page. So right now I'm going through and I have, as you can see in Google Drive, all the states and countries and I'm going through and picking out images that I want to be on that page. This obviously is not a hard job, but it is something Something that takes a lot of time especially since I have so many photos so right now I'm going through and doing that while we drive over to see Sam and Jules look who it is look who it is Sam's back in town did you miss Sam it's been a couple weeks since we've seen each other literally only three weeks not even three weeks yeah that's honestly from my third night it feels like a lifetime has happened since the Bahamas yeah. oh my gosh seriously I was looking through my camera roll and I was like I can't believe how much I did this morning it's been a busy Sam accidentally tacos that came on lettuce wraps. I got a breakfast burrito. Thank you. And I got a side of tots. Ash got chicken sandwich. Whoa. Whoa, you have to toss it behind you now. What? You have to toss them behind you. All right, I had breakfast for lunch. It was really good, but man, am I full. Like, the kind of disgusting full where I'm like, I shouldn't have ordered the tater tots. But I would give it an eight. It was pretty good. We're just walking around exploring now. This is crazy, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys She's been at MIA. But the good news is that you're gonna see her tomorrow, yeah. Monday, and then you're gonna see her like three weeks later for Jules, I mean for Sam's <laughs> birthday weekend. Woo! Show us your shoes. Guys, Jules got real pink Uggs. <laughs> this is what she wanted when she was in middle school, and now that she's 30, she can finally join the real club. We just almost got rear-ended. Well, front-ended. <laughs> First off, we're parked. Someone almost just like backed into us because she wasn't paying attention. And I don't have a working horn. Ashley needs so <laughs> Anyways, we just, I didn't really vlog much today. I, this whole vlog has been me saying I haven't really vlogged much. <laughs> um, Anyways, okay. we just walk, caught up with each other for a little bit, just chatting in the coffee shop. Um, walked around for a little bit. They got a picture, I did not. It's really gloomy out here. And the lighting is doing me zero favors. So anyways, we're about to endure the hour car ride home. It's an hour, hour and a half. Ooh. We waited too long. Wow. Oh. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> we get to on that note. I had a great day. I'm feeling really discombobulated though. One thing about me is that I don't feel productive unless I'm like locked away in a room or a coffee shop, like working for 12 hours straight. I'm feeling anxious. Like I'm feeling like I haven't been getting shit done and it's stressing me out, you guys. Okay, I just changed really quick for dinner. We're going somewhere kind of nice right now. So I'm wearing black leather pants and a black turtleneck. This is my go-to when I don't know what to wear, all black. And obviously I'm working with minimal clothes out of this suitcase. I've truly worn everything I packed here like 16 times, um, but both are from Hollister. Ooh. Mackenzie's at the sushi spot tonight. <laughs> Is moving. Elaine's um, mission while I'm in California is expanding my food palette. So tonight we're at a place called Caviar doing a little sushi night. What is this? Tell us. Tell us about the drink that you got us. This is a sake. This is fermented rice wine. It's very dry and not sweet. It's very strong. It's very oh my God. I could maybe sip on it. What is this? Wait, bite it. Is it Tashito pepper? Did you just bite it? Yes. This, this is, is a pepper? Is it spicy? Uh, oh, yeah. Some of them should be spicy. So you gotta be careful. This is like probably, this is probably the fanciest um, sushi tasting that you guys could have taken me to. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll meet you guys halfway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was the chicest dinner I think I've ever been to. Yeah. But I'm home and ready to eat the chocolate covered pretzel and finish it off, ladies and gentlemen. Do it, just do it, just do it. The dogs think I'm giving them a treat. Jump, can you jump, go to? You have to like post about it. You do it. Yeah. I'll take a picture of it. Sip. But also, how it can go.
<laughs> it's Big Little Lies season finale. If you guys haven't watched this show, it really is so good. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, and my only plans for today are to get work done and then at like 4 p.m we're going to drive over to hermosa sam and jules are going to meet us and we're going to go to american junkie which is like one of my favorite restaurants if i'm being honest i'm like so sick of eating out i just want to eat like chicken and rice and vegetables at home but um a lot of my socializing has revolved around not cooking at home and not being in a consistent daily routine and i'm trying to tell myself that like getting out of the house and being social and networking and like being a normal 22 year old that like is good for me anyways i woke up at 7 15 and i just read for 45 minutes i've been working really slowly through this book um i just made it to part two i'm like 160 pages in and it's like 380 pages so i still have a ways to go um but I've been moving really slowly through it because it's very good, very captivating of my attention, but it's really heavy. And I find that like dark books that have to do with like there's abduction, there's fire, um, there's rape in it. Like there's quite a few trigger warnings in this. And when it comes to books like that, I can like only really take them in small doses or I start to get like really freaked out and like just it gives me like nightmares so i haven't really been reading a ton before bed just like a couple chapters and when i stop reading this book and i put it down i feel like i'm like waking up from a trance does that make sense but anyways i finally got some reading done it i was planning on going to starbucks and working there all day because i like seriously need to get shit done today but it is like just pouring rain out right now like pouring so i think i'm gonna wait a little bit for it to die down Okay, here is my to-do list for today. I've got quite a few email things to tackle. It's also the first of the month, so I need to do my monthly reset, not only in my planner, but in my goals, in my um, finances as well. I have a couple of brand edits to send in. I've got some more rebranding things to get through. I was able to get them all of the country photos yesterday. Today, I need to go through and get them all the states as well. Then I need to get another blog post scheduled out for next week. I am just working my way through my inbox this morning. I just called the Kent State Hotel and got my reservation booked for when I'm in Kent in April presenting my scholarship. I also just picked out my selects from Fortunate One. We are going to Puerto Rico for Sam's 26th birthday. And as I was shopping, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's me right there. But I just picked out some super cute things. They have tons of new arrivals. If you guys are ever shopping for a resort like slash vacation wear, Fortunate One has like hands down the best stuff. So okay i've been working in bed for a few hours now and i just changed into my all-time favorite sweatsuit right now it's from airy i'll leave it linked down below because both pieces are in stock they come in a bunch of different colors uh, but it's like the perfect little comfy lounge outfit when i want to get out of pajamas but still be you know comfy cozy for a full work day I'm about to walk over to starbucks i'm gonna bring my computer my favorite to-do list pad ever, it's from Target, but I can't find it online anywhere. And then my happy planner, stickers, some pens, my computer charger, wallet, and AirPods. It's like cold and rainy outside too, so I'm gonna throw on this pink jacket, but let's do it. Breakfast before I go, yeah, like snack for the room. All right, I'm at Starbucks. I got my usual, which is a strawberry refresher with lemonade. It's not very good today. And I just sat down and made my February goals slash planner. I use a happy planner from Create365 and I use the horizontal layout. As you guys know, it looks a little bit different this year. Um, they only have like one page at a time, um, but there's lots of space to do tasks, important looking ahead notes, like a lot of like writing space, which I really like. And then I've just been using some of their stickers. This is the sticker sheet that I have right now. Um, it's the big sticker sheet with just like all very generic stuff like birthdays, holidays, dinners, meetings, things like that. And I just kind of mapped out all my flights. I'm still waiting on some final confirmation for Sam's birthday trip, which will be in Florida and in Puerto Rico. But finalized my cruise today. I'm super excited, you guys. It's going to be in a very exciting a uh, couple of months ahead very very busy so all right guys i am going through and picking some selects from one of my favorite designers sailor right now i'm looking at their line sheet and like holy cow so many designers have done an incredible job for spring resort wear usually i don't love spring
boring options but I'm so glad that I have a busy travel calendar on the horizon because I literally am in love with so many different things and can't wait to style all of these like look at that oh my gosh I love I also just got a very exciting email from EF ultimate break I don't want to speak on it just yet because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to say yes to the opportunity but how is this my life you guys like I'm suddenly so grateful that I didn't sign a lease and that I didn't find an apartment because the opportunities just keep coming my way and I am so reminded that like God has me right where I'm supposed to be and that I was meant to live out this little travel spontaneous leg a little bit longer so like what? <laughs> here like hanging out work for the last three hours it's 2 p.m right now and i am making a snack so i'm eating my crackers i love rich crackers with peanut butter in the middle i used to eat this all the time when i was in high school and i haven't had them in forever but they still hurt all right blog posts are live we've got some business casual outfits i've got 14 in this one and then seven date night outfits for Valentine's Day featuring some new Princess Polly things. It is four o'clock, I've been here for so many hours, so I'm getting ready to close up shop and head out. Guys, I just got home to a really fun package. This company sent me these shots in these hearts. Like, it's literally liquid in it, 33.3%. I'm about to try it just out of sheer curiosity. I'm not gonna like knock it back, but 33.3% in this. Well, it's a shot. That's how much like liquor has. Much like the red velvet cake liqueur contained in this pouch, you are sweet, complex, and just plain lovely. Our Valentine's flavor red velvet cake is a celebration of love and happiness in all forms. Mm. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Want to try it, Kona? <laughs> Caesar's here. <laughs> Super casual tonight. Princess Polly, little long sleeve. Jeans are Princess Polly, Converse. Um, I'm wearing a hat from Carte Blanche. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a small business from Georgia that Ashley, it's her hat, I'm borrowing it, as you can tell. And I'm grabbing a cute little purse. We're off to American Junkie, one of my all-time favorite spots. And then we might hit Shellback, which is a fun bar in Manhattan. I think I'm gonna put a couple of these in my purse. Give them a kiss, yeah. give them a kiss. Tell them you miss them. No. Who? Oh. All your fans. Oh, oh yeah, my fans. Her bloggers <laughs> like me, and then she doesn't even see me. Her bloggers are like, are you going to see your Aunt Tiff? I know. <laughs> and she said, no, I'm seeing Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Aunt Tiff first. Yes. <laughs> She's like, bloggers want to see you. Someone commented and was like, I know you're going to California for the month. Like, are you going to see your Aunt Tiff a lot? Aww. Aww. They miss you. My place, my people, our second home. We all got drinks. Jules got it. Cheers. Cheers. Mwah. Cheers. Mwah. Cheers. Mwah. <laughs> all right, I like the Caribbean fix here a lot. My heart could burst. I'm so happy. And we're eating shrimp nachos. These are the best from Junkie. Junkie Burger, you really need to eat on an empty stomach like before you start drinking because it's actually 12 inches tall. Bartender just said, you guys want a shot? So we got green tea. John's never had a green tea. Cheers. We're initiating him. So we used to come here every Tuesday for $5 burgers when I was interning here. And we've done a few different collabs with them and tonight's is a collab. And the general manager goes, do you guys want bottle service? And we're like, we were only going out for one drink tonight. But yeah, sure, I guess. So we've got a bottle coming. Friday and we had such a good night last night do you know when you're like having so much fun and your heart feels so full and like in that moment you almost are so happy that you get sad because you're like oh I just wish this feeling 
could last forever and like I could freeze time in this moment. That is exactly how I felt yesterday. Sam and Jules and Ashley are some of my closest friends and I've never had them all together, like all four of us together. And last night was just really, really special for me. And I haven't felt that happy in like so long, but I just felt like, wow, like this is what it's all about. It doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. It's just like these people just, wow. We each took like one shot and then had one drink out of our bottle of Grey Goose. And then I just walked around the bar and literally dished out shots to like everybody who wanted one. And I met so many cool people, like so many locals, people that were in town for concerts. Like one thing about me is that I do get social anxiety in certain situations, but I could really talk to anybody at the bar. Um, so it was lots of fun. But anyways, um, I'm up in Adam this morning. I read more of my book. Part two is getting really good. And my main goal today is going to be editing Sunday's YouTube video. That's going to be last week's week in my life um, when I was in San Luis Obispo. It's a little bit shorter of a vlog, I think. I'm trying to download the footage right now, but in order to download the footage, I actually needed to move things to my hard drive because my computer is running low on space. You guys might remember in December, my computer like dying and I've actually been on my mom's computer since that happened. So it's been almost two months. I had to custom build a computer and so that I would have like the proper specs and stuff for YouTube processing and it is finished. It was shipped home last week, but I'm going home in a week. And so I was like, don't bother shipping it to California. I'll just pick it up in a week. So right now I'm on my mom's computer, just trying to get stuff off of it. It's only 930 right now. And that's basically my entire plan for today. We're going to leave here around 330 to drive over to San Diego go and we're gonna spend today and tomorrow night um, in San Diego just kind of hanging out good morning everybody it... you guys are like Mackenzie do you eat anything other than yogurt um, yeah usually but we haven't been to the grocery store and because we're going to San Diego it just like seemed silly too so no all right, it is 2.30. Just put on a little bit of makeup. We are getting ready to get dressed, pack up, and head out of here, get on the road to head over to San Diego. We're not really in a rush to leave, as you guys can tell, and that's because John had to work. It's gonna be a really chill weekend. We're going to get there and just go to dinner. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to a coffee shop. Ash and I are going to shoot a campaign for Dippin' Daisies. I have a collab with them this month. Um, so I'm going to bring my white and pink polka dot bathing suit. We're going to take some sunset flash photos at Sunset Cliffs, which is one of my all-time favorite places in the United States. I'm going to bring this white long Princess Polly dress for it. I really want to like wear this for an occasion, but I also really want to grab like sunset beach photos in it. So I'm going to bring that with. We might grab coffee at like one of our favorite spots. So I'm going to bring my favorite little American Eagle cargos that desperately need to be ironed. So it's a good thing we're heading to a hotel because they will have an iron there. I'm just going to bring a white tea to go with that. And then after sunset, we actually have a dinner collab at the restaurant inside of our hotel pregame there and go out with Shauna and a bunch of her friends and just like have a good old rowdy night out so for that I'm gonna bring a black jeans from Princess Polly and I'm gonna bring this like white off the shoulder top that's super cute I feel like that'll be good and I'm gonna wear this with Converse I think and just keep things kind of casual Okay, I'm all packed up and ready to go. This pink Samsonite suitcase has been getting her money's worth. I just made Ashley and I, I call this chips and cheese. She calls it nachos. Nachos is if you make it in We're the oven to me. Every vlog. And <laughs> if you just put cheese on top of your tortilla chips and heat it up in the microwave, then it's called chips and cheese to my sister and I. No. Nachos. Ashley's like, it's nachos. This is a nacho. No, it's not. That's a That's tostito. A That's a scoop. That's how it is. There's nothing left, Coda. I just had a very, very, very exciting package be delivered. I have so much stuff here that I was gonna need another suitcase to get all my belongings home. And then this company called Mark and Graham reached out to me. You know I'm usually like a tried and true Samsonite girl, but I have dreamed of having a suitcase like this my whole life. And when they reached out, I literally almost cried. I was so excited. And I was able to customize this suitcase, you guys. Look at it. 
They had all these different options and I got it to say style by on it. And I think the carry-on's inside. Yep. How cute. Wow. So exciting. All right, I also got a package of like other little accessories. Travel accessories to go with. Because I'm gearing up to be really in my travel. Travel vlogger era, as you know. So let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited. Look at I ended up getting a passport case that says SPM on it. Let's zoom this out. Little passport case that says SPM. And then I also got the luggage tag that says SPM. My monogram is MMA, and I just don't love uh, the way that looks really when it's monogram. So I ended up doing SPM, which is style by the on everything, because I feel like, you know, that's very on brand. And I got two of these like little clear pouches so that I could swap out my toiletries and makeup into something new. My Tula one that everything's in right now is getting so disgusting. So I figured it was time. So cute. Thank you guys. I'll leave that link down below. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking pumped. All right, Ashley and John are finishing up some work, packing up, getting ready to head out of here. Probably not gonna get there before 7 p.m. So we're really just gonna drop our stuff and go to dinner. So I'm just gonna wear what I'm wearing to dinner in the car. Um, I promise I own something other than a black turtleneck. But I just keep wearing this Hollister one. I'll leave it linked down below. It's just a good never fail. Jeans are from Hollister. Black booties. Black blazer. Um, you know? Nothing like living out of a suitcase that will show you. You really only need a few good basics to make an outfit for every single occasion. So, here we go. We have made it to San Diego. And we just checked into our hotel. We're staying at a place called... The Paley Hotel and it was built in 1910. They just renovated it and reopened about a year ago. It's actually right across the street from the Ondas downtown in the Gas Lamp District. And I've stayed at the Ondas last year when I was in San Diego. So familiar with the area that we're in and it's super cute. I'll give you guys a little room tour in a second. It's like 8.15, we had some traffic coming here. So really we're just dropping our stuff and headed out to dinner. I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. I took the lovebirds to one of my all time favorite dinner collabs I've ever done. It was at this place called Cicerina and you can like build your own pasta based on noodle shape and then they have all these different kinds of sauces and then you add like a um, type of meat it's definitely gone up in price since the last time i was here but i'm super excited and look at how cute their little menu is they also do like their specialty cocktails on this little like round robin wheel the branding here is just phenomenal and all the plates are adorable it's really cute inside but we're seated outside today and look at <laughs> I don't remember the name of what I got, but it's like red sauce, burrata, a little bit of basil, and a drop of pesto. And John got bolognese, and Ashley got the truffle, which looks so good. Fun kind of noodle shape too. I know it's not. It's like a crinkly like spaghetti almost. Just got home. Dinner was amazing. And I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. It's looking kind of greasy. I forgot to film before we like unpacked our stuff, but how cute is this room, you guys? We're in like one of their king suites right now, and it's got the vanity right here. I just love the tiling and the fixtures. This bathroom is so cute. And then if you walk back here, you have like this whole little kitchen set up and then the bedroom is back here ashley and john are gonna sleep in here tonight i'm gonna sleep out on the couch but it's so cute i love it they left us cookies and a sweet little note and some champagne so sweet of them rise and shine it's saturday also known as the best day of the week and we're getting ready to head out and explore. Ashley wants to take me to a coffee spot that her and John really like. I think they have breakfast sandwiches too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a breakfast And spot. then we're gonna head over to La Jolla today. Her and I are gonna shoot Dip and Daisy's campaign. 
we're just gonna kind of walk around and explore. I really want to buy a hat today. I really hope that they. I feel like this good. Is, San Diego is the good place to do it. Um, Me and Coda are matching today. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Ashley took us to Black Market Cafe. Super cute here. There's a big patio area where you can sit outside, but you order at the counter, which is really nice. It's a bakery too, so they've got all kinds of little sweet treats. I'm trying not to judge a book by its cover because even though this looks amazing, it's cold, and I really don't like when my cold cut sandwiches are cold, but I'm manifesting it's gonna be good. It's got onion, arugula, chipotle mayo, cheddar, bacon, turkey, and avocado. So we'll see how it is. Ash and John got breakfast sandwiches. Looks good. I judged a book by its cover because the sandwich is fire. Shake. I'm giving my lunch a nine. Really? Lunch a nine. What are you giving your breakfast sandwich? I really didn't love the bread, so I'm gonna give it a six. A six, wow. John? Mine's like a dime. Wow. We are at this new spot right now, getting a coffee for Ashley because she hated the one that she got at the last spot. It is so cute here. I don't know the name of this place, but I'll leave it on. We're in the cutest little store and I'm picking up my postcards for San Diego. We are in the cutest little used bookstore right now and they have, a, little was the wrong word. This is a huge used bookstore and they've got like so many new things. I think I'm gonna get this book, The Last Love Note. Ten dollars, but it's hard copy and literally has been like read once. I'm making Ashley get in five years. This is I such a good book. Feels. If you need like an easy read to get you like back in the groove, this is a good one. Why can't this be smaller? Like, All right, we ventured off. We're at a no, cute little vintage no, market right so now, bad. and it's huge here. It's mostly clothes, like Y2K stuff old band tees. They've got a lot of sports tees too. I'm really manifesting finding a White Sox t-shirt. I feel like that would be fun to sport to one of Mike's games this year. buyer of the day he got a jacket at the vintage market we'll have to show you and he just bought a pair of new balance show us the unveiling dun, 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 dun. they're so cool i can't believe these were only 90 dollars not only like obviously that's a obviously 90 dollars you have to think about your purchase but like for cool new balances i feel like they've gone up in price so much I love, love, love these ones so much. So originally we were planning on shooting our like little dip and daisies picnic today. But we decided that we're gonna hold off and do it tomorrow because it's supposed to be sunnier, which is exciting. Um, so we just changed into our Sunset Cliffs outfit and we are headed over there right now. This is like my all time favorite thing slash spot in San Diego. Devin took me there the first time I ever came and it's like an out of body experience if you've never been on the West Coast. Um, and I really wanted to shoot this Princess Polly dress I got a week ago. Ashley is shooting a sweatsuit so we're in very different, different vibes. Coda's eating dinner at the Sunset Cliffs. Spoiled little pup. The sky is just not showing up and showing out. Didn't get a photo, but it's okay because we're getting ready for a fun Saturday night out. We really haven't had like a true night out besides our night at Junkie um, since I've been here. And San Diego has like some of the best bars. We're gonna go out in PB slash Ocean Beach area. But first we are going to head down to the restaurant that's in our hotel. 
and have a fun little dinner collab. We have a $175 tab, so I have a feeling we're going to do a majority of our pregame drinks here. And then we're gonna pregame drinks here, <laughs> have a couple drinks, and then we're gonna go out with her and her friends and her roomie. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. Top and jeans are from Princess Polly. This was a really tough day to forget a sticky bra for. But it's okay. And then I'm wearing constantly. We have the cutest dinner spot in our hotel. It's called St. James and it's a French spot. I just got an Aperol Spritz. The rest of the crew got um, fun drinks as well. And we're waiting to be seated. It's packed in here. You definitely need a reservation, but it's super cute. Well, we really wanted burrata and she got, wait, hang on. So the two things we wanted, Sold out. And then the server came back and we were like, okay, we need fried chicken and soup and the croquette. And she goes, those are the most popular things. So I'm like, it's because you're sold out of literally everything else. She goes, no oysters, no burratas, no. It's because they have an amazing happy hour here. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yum. Got a little steak frites, a little burger action, little fries, a little asparagus. Looks so good. Not exactly sure this sauce, but it looks good. The burgers were really good for what they were, but if I were to come here again, I would get the steak and not the burger. Does that make sense? Aperol spritzes were great though. Um, we are getting ready to wrap this dinner up and go be a chef. We're getting pizza. We got white, a slice of white girls, which is like chicken, bacon, and sriracha ranch. It looks so good. Pizza Luigi's. Ashley Ubered us here. Good morning, everybody. We had a good night last night. It wasn't a groundbreaking night, but it was a good night. We went to, um, where did we start? Oh, uh, open bar. We went to open bar. We went to Flamingo Deck. And we went to oh, a place that was horrible. What was the last place we were at? That we waited in the line for? Shore, shore, shore break? Shore bar? Shore bar? I don't know, but it was like the longest line. And then when we got in, there was like really not that many people there. And the vibes were kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, definitely not our rowdiest night in San Diego. But we did end with some really good pizza. We just packed up our stuff and we're getting ready to check out here we're gonna grab some breakfast some coffee we're gonna shoot the dippy daisy stuff and just kind of hang out for a little bit before we head back to la i'm wearing american eagle pants i'm wearing the outfit that i shot yesterday The lovebirds picked up plants. We don't have a hook in the back of the car, like in the trunk. We only have a hook next to Coda. So this plant is just gonna hang next to him for the ride. <laughs> All right, we're about to drive back over to the Sunset Cliffs, which is where we were yesterday. We're meeting up with Shauna and some of her friends, and we're gonna shoot our Zippin' Daisy. We're fueling up before we head back home to Pasadena. Stopped in Target on our way home and are doing a little bit of a grocery stock up for our next few days. We've got a storm brewing, so wanted to make sure we had the goods. Ashley's picking out our french fries of the week. I think this week we're gonna have tacos tonight. We're gonna do burgers one night. We're gonna do sheet pan sausage and veggies. And then we're gonna do chicken enchiladas for our night. Healthy. Healthy girl. It is currently 7 o'clock and we just got home from Target slash our San Diego adventure. And we got stuff for dinners. We got tots, stuff for the burgers. Like I said, I'm going to do um, tacos tonight. We got lots of stuff for 
egg sandwiches. Sam and Jules are actually gonna come over tomorrow night for a wine night and we're gonna have a sleepover with them. So Ashley got stuff to do her famous poached egg avocado toast and she also got uh, Tyson chicken nuggets and queso and ice cream for John. I refrained today, you guys. My sweet treat of choice today was the favorite day milk chocolate covered mini pretzels. Yum. Shower time. Really just wanted to rinse off before dinner because I am still sandy from our beach afternoon in San Diego. I feel so much better. I didn't end up washing my hair just because tomorrow is going to be like a lazy work from home day. I'm probably gonna oil it up and just slick it back tomorrow. But I just changed into my get wet sweatshirt. Ashley gave this to me like right when I got here and I love it, it's so cute. I'm currently making homemade pico and guacamole. I basically do the exact same recipe. So I just do tomato, onion, jalapeno, like half a lime and then salt and pepper to taste. And then when I do the guacamole, I just do a whole avocado. And then I end up scooping in a little bit of this mix as well. Cause I really like chunky, like tomato-y type of guacamole personally. Yum. We've got rice going and I'm cooking up the ground beef right now. They didn't have yellow rice at Target, so I got this cilantro lime rice. And I put the amount of water it said to put in it, but it's just not really absorbing the water. So it's a little wet, but oh well. And we've got all the fixings over here, corn, bean, cheese, sour cream, salsa, guacamole, and you know me, always scoops. Yum. My book just got so good. I've been reading for like an hour and it took a big twist and I'm excited, but it's 11. So I'm about to head to bed and end off this vlog. We had a lovely time in Big Bear in San Diego this week. And I'm getting so sad that I only have a handful more days left here, but you guys will have to tune in for my last California week in my life, which I will start tomorrow morning. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I will talk to you tomorrow.